Hello, I'm John Tibbetts. In the screening room today, I'm interviewing Leslie Ann Warren, one of the stars of Blake Edwards' new motion picture, Victor Victoria. You're working with some pretty high-powered company here in this film, and we're talking about James Garner and Julie Andrews and Robert Preston. My gosh, dumb question maybe, but are you still starstruck uh, about being in that kind of, of company? Um, I am still starstruck, uh, but once I take on a role, um, I guess I, I guess I respond to the people in terms of the role, mm -hmm. do you know? So I don't get intimidated, uh, uh, and I don't feel that sort of separation, you know? Has that ever happened, though, especially near the beginning of your career? Well, when I did Cinderella, I felt very awe, in awe of Richard Rogers. Mm -hmm. you know? N not that he's a, you know, a celebrity performer, but I mean, the man's talent was so, it's, was so overwhelming, you know, that I, I felt very shy and very, very... Um, well, at 18, that's sort of natural, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. In recent years, I, I, um, I, I, did, a, I did a movie with um, Diane Keaton and, and, and Jimmy Kahn and Elliot Gould, and Diane Keaton is one of my favorite actresses, and I think I felt kind of, you know, intimidated by her. I don't know if intimidated is the right word. I guess just, just, just a little in awe, you know? Incidentally, take a look at this face because when you see it on screen in Victor Victoria, it'll look quite a bit different. You looked different to me yeah. on screen. You're a, a big city brassy blonde, I guess is a good way to typify you. Uh, the change in your appearance, as a matter of fact, I found startling. Uh, people that you know who see this film, <laughs> is there going to be a moment maybe where who is that up there? I think so. Even in the characterization, too. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's with people I, I know or who really know me well, but certainly um, people I've talked to who don't know me say that they did not know it was me until the credits rolled, you know, at the end of the film. Um, I, I have to take that as a compliment, you know. I have to believe that I have created someone who is entirely different than myself, you know, and that was my, my purpose in this film. As the character of Nora, at least in my opinion, you really walk away with many of the scenes. And uh, thank you. it's a role that requires a kind of tightrope act, again, in my opinion. It's rather broad, but at the same time a sympathetic character. That kind of balance must be tough. Well, you know, I was real worried about that. Mm -hmm. And um, I tried not to concern myself with it during the filming of it because I didn't want to be outside of myself. You know, I wanted to be inside Norma. Um, and in order to do that, you, have, you sort of have to remove your third eye, you know, and trust that what you're doing is, is, is uh, on the right track. But when I saw the film for the first time, I was shocked. And I thought, oh my God, you know, what have I done? <laughs> this is the end of my career. Everybody's going to hate me. Well, Norma. the voice changes too, of yeah. course. Yeah. Um, so for me, you know, seeing it for the first time, it was disconcerting to say the least. Um, but the response from people immediately was just, you know, I mean, everybody loved her. So I had to believe that that you know that broad character that I, that that I had created with Blake worked. Would you share with us the story you were talking about earlier, uh, when your boy went to the film with you last night at uh -huh. the premiere and his reaction to a very sexy dance number that you do? I thought that was great. Well, you don't want me to actually say that, do you? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean he. Um, I mean, let me see if I can put it in a different way. He. Um, I don't know if your audience will know what mooning is, you know? I rather suspect uh, no problem there. Okay, well, he said, Mom, you moon the camera. You know? <laughs> I have this very sexy thing that I do in the number, and um, he was taken aback, you know? He said, well, he just didn't know how to handle it, you know? I think he loved the rest of the film and was really um, proud of the response that I was getting, you know, the laughter and, and the fact that people love Norma. Um, but it was a little hard for him to deal with, you know, the overt raunchiness of that number. And Victor Victoria is a film a bit about sex and also a very sexy film. I wish you yeah. the best with it. I Thanks. think it's Blake Edwards in top form. Leslie Ann Warren, you. thank you very much. Thank you. And I'll talk to you next time here in the screening room.